Um, what do you think? I think it's a nice neutral look. A little, a little too pink in the eye. I thought it'd be a little darker because my skin is a little darker. And it is. It's not like bubblegum pink. It's slightly purplish, but not too pink. With any Natasha Denona, well, I'm going to say 95% of the Natasha Denona's uh, formulas, they work well. They work so pretty. Um, they blend out so easily. And this, this shade over here is more of a topper. So essentially, I could put this all over my lid and then do a little topper of this. Um, it's nice. It's it's cute. Yesterday, I just did uh, this shade all over and then this in the crease in the outer corner and I was done. My only issue is that there isn't a shade bright enough, poppy enough for inner corner use. It is pretty. So that's why I went in with my Ofra Stars and Stripes highlighter because uh, while I can go with white, I can mix the pink and the white together and get what I have in the inner corner and the brow bone. Works well with this palette. Let's move on. Trying a new foundation, sort of. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free Natural Skin Perfector SPF 20 Sunscreen. This is a really, really natural light coverage. Really. Um, it kind of is like I did my makeup, I set it, I, and then I did my hair. Um, and it's still a little tacky. I don't want tacky. I really don't. So I am going to finish using all my primers with this. Says I, I like the color, but um, for longevity, the one I used last week, the Love Tinted Hue Guard, I would take that over this any day. All right. So I used the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is worthless. <laughs> worthless, okay? You saw I put, you know, two different applications and I don't think I look any more bronzy than, than I did before it. Um, would I repurchase this? No. Will I continue to use it? Yes. Because what if, you know, since this is my first time using it, it was, you know, my mistake. I don't know. But we'll revisit this. But for now, no. All right. Since I got the Laura Mercier tint um, and... You know I love the the tinted moisturizer blush in Provence. They had a little kit at Ulta. Um, they had three of them. It had Provence, Southbound, and then a darker one. Southbound is supposed to be the peachy one. That is what I am wearing. I do love the blendability of, of this blush. I think it looks good. Again, you're going for a natural look but I do see it and I did powder over it which is nice so another shade I like I wish it was a bit more orange though that's just me all right for lips I used the P Louise lip liner in shady ooh, shady lady which i use all the time so it's not a big thing um i just paired that with the makeup by mario 
Moisture Glow Plumping Lips Serum in Bronze Glow. I love the color. I love how juicy my lips look. Um, as far as the plumping goes, it's not as bad as as other ones. And you know, my lips are really sensitive to plumping uh, things. Um, I feel a bit of the tingle when I first put it on, but now it's just like menthol -y. It It's just this cooling menthol, you know, York peppermint patty sensation on my lips. So I'm fine with it. Um, as far as design goes, this is one that you click up, but you can't click it down. I, I don't understand why I do that. So I'll only put that up just a little bit because you don't want to go all the way up and then ruin it. But I think it looks good and it feels good. And lastly, we have from Milk Makeup. This is the Rise Mascara. It is waterproof. Um, the, the texture of the outer casing is interesting. It's rubberized, so, you know, you can get that grip. Thank you. People with mobility issues, thank you, Milk. Um, I used this yesterday. And yesterday, it was very, the formula was very gloopy. Like, it, it was a mess. Coming out of the bottle for the first time, I just got like, it, it was just too messy. I think because I opened it, it settled a bit, and it's not that bad. And yesterday, it was very spider leggy. Did it give me volume? Yes, yes it does. Does it have the the ability to make it too spider leggy? Yes, it does. <laughs> Okay, so on the box it says lift length volume. Okay, it says it adds, it holds a curl and adds subtle, subtle volume for the most natural looking defined lashes possible. I'm going to say it looks like I'm wearing a faux lash, but you know, I don't do faux lashes. So this is giving it, it it's doing its job in the most possible way i just wish it was a little less goopy like it was just a little too ugh, for my liking yesterday we'll see how the rest of the month goes with that but that's it what do you think i think a nice natural look Do I want to do ducks or do I want to do blood splatter today? I don't know. I'll just pick a topper. With that, I want you to have a good day and I will see you in the next one.